Hey everyone. Hey, these marker lights on my RV, you know, I've been meaning to replace them for a long time. Um, they still have the old uh, incandescent bulbs in them, so they tend to burn out periodically, which means I have to keep light bulbs on hand all the time because it's just really annoying when you find a burnout bulb. And uh, also, you know, these lenses tend to crack a lot and I replace them periodically like every couple years, you know, because of the sun and everything and they tend to get a little bit of water in there when, uh, when it rains and they're cracked. But uh, that's something I'm going to have to deal with anyway. But I, I've been wanting to replace these with, the, uh, with some really inexpensive LED uh, marker lights like this. So I don't have to worry about the bulbs at least anymore. And while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and replace my uh, porch light as well with a nice motion sensing LED. Now to replace these lights, I really wasn't looking for anything super fancy or super expensive. You know, obviously there are some nice little like chrome um, marker lights that have nice really bright LEDs in them, but uh, I really didn't need that. I was simply looking for something pretty similar to what I already had, just an LED version. Um, I wanted something fairly inexpensive and I didn't really need super uh, bright lights. So. You know, these uh, I found uh, actually at a pretty good deal, you know, when I was searching on Amazon. So they actually came in a uh, in this bag here and for a pack of 10, uh, five red ones and five amber lights. For a pack of 10, it was under $30, so it was about $28. And I also needed four more, so I had to order four uh, separately, and that came to about $15. So. So all in all, for, to replace all of my uh, marker lights, all 14 of them, it was um, about $45. So that was a pretty good deal. Now while I was at it, I decided to also pick up a new uh, porch light. Uh, the porch light I had is still incandescent and uh, it was really weathered and cracked and uh, it was time for that one too. But that one was a little bit more expensive since the one I got was a, um, a motion sensing uh, light that uh, had the motion sensor mode as well as uh, just a regular light, uh, steady light mode. Now replacing these uh, should be pretty straightforward since uh, you know it's just basically a light and uh, it's got a positive and a negative. So simply going to take this off and uh, replace it with this new one and seal it up really nice. So let's uh, let's go ahead and do that. I started out by removing the old light fixture by first uh, prying off the lens and then unscrewing the two screws that are uh, securing the, uh, the light to the RV. Now it's sealed up along the edges so in order to remove the fixture I had to uh, kind of pry it loose and I found that it was easier to uh, apply a little bit of heat around the edges using a heat gun or you could use a hair dryer to do this and uh, it softened up the uh, sealant a little bit and was able to uh, remove it a little bit easier. Now with the old light removed, I was able to just pull it out, isolate the wires that are connecting it, and clip, clip it off and just basically toss the old light. Now I stripped the uh, end of the two wires that were there and uh, I'm simply gonna connect them to the new uh, light fixture. And on these uh, new fixtures, it has a black wire and a white wire. Now the black wire is actually the positive and the white wire is the negative. Using a couple of wire connectors, I connected the positive to the positive and the negative to the negative wire. And uh, for a little bit of added uh, integrity behind the wall here, I went ahead and wrapped those connections with electrical tape. Now with the light all connected, I went ahead and tested it. I turned on the uh, lights in the RV just to make sure that it was connected correctly and that the light actually came on. Now, since the wires are actually coming through this big hole in the side of the RV wall, I wanted to go ahead and cover it up when I put on the new fixture. So just to give it a little extra weatherproofing in case the uh, fixture were to leak or crack and water were to get in there. I didn't want it to get inside the wall. So I went ahead and uh, just covered it with some tape. Now you can use any kind of uh, weatherproofing tape I suppose, but I have some uh, Eternabon uh, roof tape that I have on hand. So I went ahead and cut a small piece to cover that hole so that the wires actually came out of the bottom of it. So if any water were to actually get in there, it would simply run off and run out the bottom. Now once I had it all taped up and connected, it was simply a process of uh, positioning the, uh, the, the new light on there and uh, screwing it back in. 
I uh, used some just clear uh, silicone um, sealant to uh, just put a nice little bead around the outside edge just to uh, give it some extra protection. With a new light installed, I went ahead and tested it again just to make sure everything was working right before I repeated the entire process on the remaining 13 uh, marker lights. Now the process for installing this uh, porch light is virtually identical to how we installed the uh, the marker lights on the side. You know, there's pretty much uh, just two wires, a positive and a negative, and uh, a couple of screws that remove the old fixture and uh, put the new one in. I also went ahead and put some uh, Turnabon tape over the uh, over the existing hole just to give it a little bit more weatherproofing in case it were to leak. But um, what I wanted to tell you about this uh, light is um, it's got a couple of features that I really liked and I really wanted because we tend to, you know, do some boondocking and we stay in rest stops and things like that. So it also has a motion sensor feature that I mentioned uh, probably earlier. And uh, but the way it works is kind of unique. It uh, toggles on and off based on turning the light on and off. So the first time you turn it on, it uh, comes on in regular mode where it's just the light shining and uh, then when you turn it off and turn it back on again it switches to motion sensing mode so then it only comes on when there's motion detected nearby and uh, inside there is a sensitivity setting that you can set so you can set how sensitive it is to uh, to nearby motion but it works pretty well and um, the other thing about it is that it's really bright. In fact, uh, when I first got it, it's like, well, it's kind of too bright. I didn't want to basically illuminate, you know, the whole parking lot where I'm at. So um, I ended up putting a, just a foam piece of uh, a diffuser inside the lens just to kind of soften it up just a little bit. But I really like this light and definitely much better than the one that was there before. So overall, this project was not a difficult one. Uh, what made it a little difficult at times was probably the fact that there are 14 lights that had to be replaced and some of them were up on you know up in high places and uh, either on the front you know I had to access it from the top down or from a ladder you know on the back and I also went ahead and uh, replaced my rear uh, view camera with a color one uh, while I was up there because it kind of shared part of the same opening uh, with the uh, with one of those lights so I went ahead and replaced that and that took a little bit more time but uh, overall they look really good I you know I think I'm still gonna have to probably deal with uh, cracked lenses and weathering over time I'll have to replace those periodically just like I did the other ones but at least I won't have to worry about uh, keeping extra light bulbs on hand and I'm um, pretty happy about that but I hope you guys found this helpful I'll put links to these uh, lights and uh, the other porch light if you guys are interested in uh, checking those out on Amazon we'll see you guys in the next project and uh, as we close out I'll show you some shots of what the uh, new ones look like compared to the old ones they're pretty similar but uh, you know they look pretty good <laughs>